Hello, welcome to another edition of uh, Mono Price on YouTube. Today we're going to show you how to uh, attach a compression type uh, F connector to a quad shielded coaxial cable. Uh, same instructions would apply to uh, standard shielding, triple shielded cables and connectors as well. It's always important to make sure that you're matching your uh, uh, connector to the type of cable you're using. Now the uh, main difference between a connector for a quad shielded cable and a standard shielded cable is the space between that uh, center sleeve which the dielectric goes through and the uh, outer sleeve that uh, goes around the jacket of the cable. Uh, basically the difference between different types of coaxial cables are the, uh, the level of shielding. So a quad shielded connect uh, cable will have uh, four layers of shielding and those shield those layers of shieldings consist of uh, braids and aluminized mylar foil. So a quad shielded cable has four layers, two layers of braided uh, wires and then two layers of aluminized mylar foil wrapped around the dielectric and uh, therefore a quad shielded uh, cable is going to need a, a larger gap between that inner sleeve and the outer sleeve than say a standard shielded uh, cable. So a standard uh, uh, shielded cable connector like this one uh, would have a slightly smaller uh, outer diameter. It's kind of hard to see but you can see that there's a slight difference there uh, between the size of the gap between the inner sleeve and the outer sleeve. So the quad shielded one has a has a um, larger outer diameter to fit uh, uh, to fit over the quad shielded cable and to uh, give more room for the uh, layers of uh, of uh, shielding to fit between and uh, form that compression when you insert it. It's the uh, space between that center um, sleeve and this uh, plastic sleeving here that creates the compression that holds the connector in place. So the outer jacket of the uh, cable is going to actually be wedged between that inner sleeve and this uh, outer plastic compression sleeve. So if you don't do it properly or if you get the wrong size, what's going to happen is uh, if it's too loose, it's just going to slip right out. And oftentimes we do get complaints of uh, customers saying that the connectors just slip off. Uh, here we have uh, a Monoprice branded stripper. It uh, has two blades inside and uh, what the stripper does is it cuts out the proper segments so that you should have the uh, proper uh, length of uh, dielectric and the uh, jacket stripped off at the uh, in the appropriate sections. So just uh, place your cable inside the stripper and you can just have the uh, end of the stripper flush with the edge of the stripper and uh, give it a few turns and the blade should do all the work and uh, it should slip right off and there you go you have a uh, properly stripped uh, cable and um, one thing to note is that uh, there is a uh, thin film between the uh, center wire and the dielectric and uh, I got most of it off this time but sometimes you'll see a clear uh, kind of a milky colored plastic there and uh, if you have some of that remaining on the center wire you want to strip that off because uh, you don't want that on there because it will uh, uh, prevent conductivity with that center wire. And once you get it stripped, you want to um, what you want to do is you want to fold back the uh, the shielding to get it out of the way because you don't want it to make contact with the center wire and just fold it back over the jacket of the cable. And so after the uh, tip has been stripped and you have the braiding fo folded back over the jacket of the cable, the connection should just uh, slide on right over the uh, tip of the cable. And you're going to need to apply a pr little pressure here and uh, twist the connector on. What you want to do is you want to make sure 
that the uh, see right now it's not seated very well the uh, the dielectric needs to be pushed up till it becomes flush with the inside top of the uh, connector that way you ensure enough of the jacket is inserted into the uh, body of the uh, connector so that when you compress the uh, compression sleeve it will engage the jacket and compress it with that inner sleeve uh, if you don't push it up all the way what's going to happen is you only have the jacket up to the edge and then uh, when you compress it'll just pop right off so you want to twist it until you get it seated in there and if you're having trouble getting it to go in I like to just pop off this sleeve and um, put it over the cable first makes it a little easier to get that in there first just squeeze it and the cable should and once you've uh, pushed it in far enough then uh, that dielectric white plastic center should be flush with the uh, inside top edge of the uh, connector and that way the uh, jacket is all the way in the sleeve you just push the compression sleeve back up on there then you just grab your compression tool slip it on in there and uh, should be able to squeeze that back in there sit it in there and uh, do a full compression and you should have a nice clean finished connector doesn't slip off jacket is well seated there's no um, braiding or foil interfering with the center wire or crossing over the um, dielectric onto the center wire uh, you want to keep the tip at about uh, a quarter inch so you can snip off the excess and there you have a uh, nice clean finished F connector on your coaxial cable.